Hi there. Today, this video is about Google Slides. It's about um, some features you may not have known about Google Slides, some hidden features, and knowing that it's so much more than just a PowerPoint presentation. Google Slides has so many uses in our classrooms, and this video is just gonna serve as a really brief introduction of a few of the different things that Google Slides can do for you. All right, Google Slides. So Google Slides, uh, I will, little background, I was a late convert to Google Slides. I was a PowerPoint devotee <laughs> um, until I saw the light on what Google Slides can do. Now, a lot of these things you can do in PowerPoint as well, but when you're on a Google platform, having everything cloud-based is just so, so helpful. Um, so this is what we are going to focus on in this video. It's just some basics. So we're gonna talk about resizing Google Slides, using the margins to your advantage, um, just some different tricks, places to find good templates and how to share your Google Slides presentations with students if you want them to have their own copy. So we go new, Google Slides. And here, I'm sure that most of you have seen this before, um, we have some default themes, so you can choose one of these themes. I personally prefer to either use um, Canva, which you can see in another video that I've made. I prefer to use Canva to use the, to create the images in my Google Slides. There are templates on templates on templates created by professional graphic designers that you can use to design your presentations. They're super visually engaging, really, really, really get the attention of our students. Um, there's also other websites that offer templates as well, some free, some paid, and I will put those in the description of this video. But a few important things to know about Google Slides. You can get rid of that themes right there. Google Slides obviously can be used for presentations. You make your very traditional, make your presentation, and you can click there to present. However, you could also use them as activities in class. And that is going to be gone more into in depth in my interactive Google Slides video. Um, but just know that this is so much more than just a presentation tool. So one really important thing to know if you want to make your Google Slides an activity and not just a presentation tool is that you can resize. You can resize this. Um, so you go file, page setup, and you're gonna go down to custom. Oh, I have to move that. Go down to custom. And you can change this to eight and a half by 11 inches or whatever size you want, but eight and a half by 11 is our standard piece of paper size. Um, so if you wanted to make something that perhaps you could print for your students or something um, that just looks a little bit different than a Google Slides, something that they can interact with, you can change the, the size to this. I'm gonna go back to our old school uh, presentation though for the rest of this video. A couple quick things to know about Google Slides. If you want to change these layouts, obviously there are these, um, these default layouts that they give us, but let's say that you want kind of a blank canvas, you wanna get rid of this stuff, you can click and make a little square and just delete those elements. That is easy to do. Um, this margin space is available for you. I love utilizing this margin space. Sometimes if I'm doing an activity, I'll throw a text box over here and I'll type instructions for my students. I'll say things like, um, read the text and answer the questions. You can highlight, change your font. And if you come over here, fill color, you can make this whatever color you want. I like it this really nice, almost tennis ball neon color so that they cannot miss it. 
over here where we have our alignment, we tend to know about um, left, right, center, justified. But let's say that, and this one is not a great example, but let's say that right here you wanted to say, um, like, all right, Unida Dose. You wanted to make a title and you wanted to make this text box a different color, but I want Unida Dose in the middle. You can hit align and this button right here will bring it to the middle. It just looks more visually appealing, doesn't it? It just looks a little bit more symmetrical, a little bit more polished. And again, you can change your fonts as well. I also love adding a border to my text boxes. So I can go and I can click a text box, border color, and border weight. I always think that a nice thick border makes an element really stand out. It makes it look, again, just a lot more polished um, and a lot cleaner. Another thing that you can do in Google Slides, and again, I'm just gonna delete these. I like starting with a blank canvas, is you can make the background a color or you can make the background an image. That image is really going to um, take hold when we wanna make these interactive, which again, I'll explain in another video. Now, if you want to link things in your presentation to other objects, you can link text boxes. You don't have to just like include a hyperlink. You can actually link an element. So if I wanted to click on this box right here and say link, I can link it to the next slide, which will then take me just to the next slide, whether I'm in um, edit or in presentation mode. Or if I wanted to link this to another website, I could do that as well. I could say link, I can grab a URL from somewhere else and paste it in here. That again, really comes in handy when it comes for interactive activities. I also will link that for resources for students. I'll say, if you're having trouble with this, here is a video to watch, or here is um, an organizer for you. And I'll put those in the margins and those are really helpful. It gives students um, something to tangible to go to immediately if they're struggling. So linking is really helpful. Now, when you share, oh, name for sharing, let's click that. You copy link and if you want each of your students to get a copy of this activity, what you would do is you would send it to them. And here's the URL, but right here towards the end where it says edit, you can take those off and write copy, C-O-P-Y. And that will send that, um, if we click there, it's going to force a copy. So when the students click on your link, they're gonna see this and they just say, make a copy. So in my calendar, I have links to activities that often force them to make a copy. So for example, on October 5th, my students watched a video about conjugated versus infinitive verbs and here are the notes that go along with the video. If they click on this, then they're prompted to make a copy. That way they're not, they can type on those slides that those notes, but they don't um, change it for everybody that's viewing that document. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, I'm going to go more in depth into interactive Google Slides and how to really work with them in my next video.